I need to really do something about that in and their little scrawny tree. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. You see, I'm scratching right here. Oh Lord. Ooh. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I am going to talk to you guys about my flat iron hair. My hair has been flat ironed for two weeks now, so for 14 days. And I want to show you what it looks like after the rain and the humidity and possibly show you a little footage of me getting my hair done. My beautician came over to my house and personally shampooed, conditioned, and blow dried and flat ironed my hair. Now, baby, let me tell you something. See, this is why I stopped going to beauticians in the first place. They love to use them some heat. They love them some heat, guys. And she has so much heat coming out that um that blow dryer too. It just turned my power off like two or three times. <laughs> Ooh. So hopefully I don't have any heat damage, but we're gonna see. It doesn't take much for my crown to lose its curl pattern because it's it's kind of like a silky, straight, wavy texture as it is by itself. But we're not gonna talk about that right now. We're just gonna get into what my hair looks like now. And then we're gonna show some possible footage at the end of my process of getting my hair flat ironed. So guys, I have some glosser here. I have three glossers. I can't find the other two for some reason. But I'm glad I have more than one. This is called Proclaim Olive Spray Glosser. It's frizz free shine. It's a frizz free shine spray. And it adds luster. Spray luster? Yeah, it adds luster to your hair. Somebody had asked me, well, Nancy, how do you, how do you keep your hair um, with oil in it when it's flat iron and when it's straight? Because grease makes my flat iron heavy. Well, I usually use glossers. Glossers don't have alcohol in it. And it has a very nice shine and it's, it's great. Um, it's great for dryness and it's great for keeping your hair looking shiny without weighing it down. So I did use my glosser. I don't think I used this one, but I've used a few. Um, I think I used my Miss Jessie's glosser for the last two weeks. So, it's my, what my hair looks like. Guys, I got to tell you something. Now, the first two weeks, uh, not the first two weeks, the first few days, I did wrap my hair. And then after a while, I was like, I'm not wrapping nothing. So, I started braiding my hair at night before I go to bed. And then, eventually, um, I don't think I only braided one time. And then, the ends started locking up. I'm like, how your, how your ends going to lock up? while your hair is straight. I guess because it's still kinky. And then eventually I just balled it up in the back like this and put my sad cap on and went to bed. I just, I'm not used to combing my hair. I don't like combing my hair. And I'm like, why am I not liking to comb my hair? Because I have been, for the last seven or eight years, I have not been combing my hair. So anyway, so let's just put a little sheen in it and make it a little bit easier. I gotta shampoo my hair anyway. And that uh, add a little bit of shine without weighing my hair down. All right, so we got a little bit of sheen and shine on. That's what it looks like in the back. As a matter of fact, my end look like it's about to fall off the wall anyway. You guys been telling me, Nezzy, would you please fix your end because it's upside down. Actually, the end is not upside down, but I used to have it the other way around. You guys are used to this. Let me show y'all. Y'all like this end. Y'all like this right here, this way. And normally I do have it that way. But when it fell down, I got irritated and I just threw the sucker up there and didn't realize it was like this. So, yeah. It's gonna fall back off, so once it falls back off, I'll turn it turn it around the other way so it won't keep continue to drive you guys crazy like it was driving me crazy and now when I when I first put it up I said why does it look weird why does it look upside down and as as Americans we're used to reading from left to right so to us that looks upside down because we're used to we like the the double end at the top instead of the single end but it doesn't matter I don't know why I went that far with the end anyway so let's get to the hair I have to be real careful because my ends are starting starting to revert and I don't want to break them. She gave me a nice little trim. And my hair is happy. 
I can't believe how dark it is naturally. I used to dye my hair black all the time for like 10 years. So my hair has a natural darkness to it. Like I said before, it's not black. That little lady said it's 1B. She said that at uh, King's Beauty Supply. 1B, your hair, is not, your hair is not black. You don't need number one. You need 1B. So my hair is um, black with brooms. Brown undertones. So I'm going to try to gently go through these ends with my wide tooth comb so that I won't break the hair. Now, when I feel like a little tangle and a little knot back here, because that's, that's where my kinky hair is, I have to use my fingers and stay it to separate. First, so that the comb will not snag and pull anything. Yeah, I heard a little snag right there. I don't think it was a snag, I just think it was me trying to release a kink. So if you wonder how I've been wearing my hair to work, I've been keeping it braided or in a pony ball or I will wear a clamp and take my ponytail and put it up here. I don't wear my hair down at work because, let me take that back. I do wear my hair down at work. It's just that when I get in my driver's seat, and I drive a bus, I drive a public bus. Uh, <laughs> well, as I get in my seat, um, I'll put my hair up so that it won't get snagged against the headrest. I used to um, I always wear my hair down at work and I used to hear my hair popping. And it's like my hair would cling to the headrest. And when I pull forward, pop. All the time I kept hearing that, I was like, what is that about? I don't know if it was static or what. So now I don't wear my hair down at work. But uh, on my way to work, I'll wear it down. And guys, my hair be getting caught in my seatbelt. And a few times it got caught in my uh, window when I would let the window up. Not this go around, but like in the past. So when I first got it straightened, it was way longer than this. But you know how kinky texture hair does. It shrinks, draws up. And it gives the illusion of it being shorter when really we have some length. I might need some more oil. Because my back hair has got a kink that I have to be very careful about. Once I learned how to take care of my kinks, my hair started showing length retention. And for years, I did not know how to take care of my hair which is very common for a lot of people. Sometimes we don't know how to take care of our hair and we just look to others to help us. And that's what I'm here for. I'm glad you guys have been following my journey. Let me see what's going on back here. So I feel a kink back here. So this is the time I start using my fingers. When I, when I reach a snag, I don't use my comb. I separate with my fingers, because my fingers can tell me what's going on, versus a comb, a comb can't feel anything. So that's the good thing about fingering, detangling our kinky texture hair, because we can feel the knots and the kinks before we start ripping our hair out, especially with a comb. Actually, when it gets like this, I don't even really want to comb it for real. I don't want to snag and pull my hair and you guys know the hair up under your neck the nape that's what gets kinky the most because our hair tends to draw up under that part well my hair does I don't know about everybody else's but it will do that so so this is what I've been doing too like this week if I wanted to comb Sorry. through I can't connect to the Wi-Fi network. Oh, Alexa. Go to Wi-Fi settings on this device. I didn't even say your name, girl. Let me tell you about her. I'm talking about A.L. Alexa. Sorry, I can't connect to the Wi-Fi network. 
when girl okay when i when my power went out not my power when my wireless went out at&t blew up my wireless i'm like what have you done to it anyway when they came when i got a new box to hook up my wireless everything got hooked back up but but her but let me tell you a story about her one night um i was, I was coming home from um work and I leave my radio on for Shay Shay. And when I came home and opened up my garage, I heard that girl over there screaming at the top of her lungs. She was singing Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody. And I'm like, why is this? Who is this playing this music in my house? I thought somebody was in my house. And she was, ah! So I came in the house. I'm looking like, uh, where's the dog and who's in my house? Wasn't nobody in my house. but. What happened was, while my music was playing, well, somebody on the radio said her name and told her to play Whitney Houston. And that's how that happened. So I'll try to, I'm kind of glad she's not working right now, but uh, I think I'm going to change her name to another name. So if they do say the A word on the radio, it doesn't scare the dog. Because every time she comes on, her head goes like this. Shay Shay be looking like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, that was really, really strange. Because, you know, they be, they always talking about uh, her on the radio. And they say her name all the time. They do that stuff on purpose. They know people leave their radios on at home for their animals and stuff. And then they know they they know that that's going to make her say that. To trip people out. They think they slick. Anyway, I'm not going to really comb through well, no more through here. Because I don't want to break nothing. All right, so those those are my ends. Maybe my hair's getting shorter and shorter. So what can we do to the front of my hair? Let's brush it a little bit. I really don't feel like really doing much to my hair. I just wanna make it look a little decent. That's it, that's good enough. And put some spray in it. This is um, High Beams Intense. Temporary spray hair color. This is called Burgundy. The number 40. She's not going to really show up that much, probably. I know I'll never do this right. <laughs> I want some burgundy hair. Ooh. So guys, when I'm looking down this way on, on the right, which is probably your left, I'm looking at my computer screen. And when I look to the left, I'm looking in my mirror, just in case. You're wondering, what is she looking at? Today is Cinco de Mayo weekend, or day, or whatever it is. My friends and family want to get out and go play and do something. I don't know yet. I think I want to go get some breakfast, because it's late. It's 1 o'clock. I want some breakfast. And I'll probably get out a little late on anyway. So, I hope you guys like this video. I'm going to show um, a little bit of footage at the end of this video. So, guys, I wanted to show you something right quick before I left. And I saw it after I turned the camera off. Here goes my little ball spot that grew in from last year. <laughs> I wonder how long that is. Is that actually six inches? Can you see? Can you see? Here it is. Is it six inches? The reason why I ask is because they say that our hair grows on an average of six inches per year. Which means some people hair grows longer or shorter in a year. That's like about six inches. I guess my hair does grow on an average of six inches. I don't know. Okay, bye-bye now.